hello everyone in this video we are going to see the important extensions which are very essential for AL programming so you need a visual studio code in order to work with AL programming which is integrated with the Dynamics 365 so here you can see that this is the extension so extensions are like if you want to add some more features for your uh, visual studio code you can install it and make use of it so here you can see that AL language is also an extension because Visual Studio Code is a general IDE where we can install the extension to work with any programming language. So here you can see that AL language which we have installed this extension so that we can work with AL language. If you want any other extension you can click and download it. So we are going to talk about the important extension called Object Designer. So you can type here AL Object Designer. So here you can see that what are all the extensions which are available for AL will be available here. So let us see what happens with AL Object Designer. So click here and uh, you will see that what this Object Designer will do. So this is what the Seaside Object Designer which will give you more flexibility to create any object in the AL language. So here its main features are listed. So this is what list overview. You can create various things from here from this. So let us install this. The simple thing we have to do is what click install. So once if you click install, it will start installing the object designer. Here you can see that it is installing. It is showing that it is installing. So once it is installed, you can see the extra one icon here that is what AL Object Designer. So if you click here AL Object Designer, you can see that the Object Designer how it looks like. See, so these are all the various objects which we have in AL programming that is table, table extension, pages, pages extension, page customization, report, coordinate, query, XML port, control add, enum, enum extension, interfaces. So many things are here right so you can simply see all the tables all the objects which are there in your AL okay so it is still loading because the extension is still loading so that is why it is loading here so here you can see that these are all the tables okay if you simply click on this table you can find the structure of the table here so these are all the table which are already available in AL that is which is already given to you by Microsoft so these tables are there even if you create any table that table will appear here okay any table so we know that the ID so this table ID for example this for this table the ID is 3 so since we know that the uh, AL language we have the extension that is 1 to 9999 that is for base application object which is what these are all the base application objects so if you click table extension you can see the table extension pages so these uh, IDs will be between 1 to 9999 okay so if you want uh, to see if you want to search something you can search and see the objects here okay so next is in this you can see that a is that wizard a c wizard okay so if you click here you can find that this is what a z a l dev tool extension is not installed which means that you need one more extension to use this okay let us download that as well so you have to again go to the extension and click a z a z a l dev tool so once if you click here it will show up an another uh, extension though so this is what another extension so what is the speciality of this extension is what you don't want to create any new uh, AL programming by going here like going to the um, file explorer right clicking here click new AL and then drive the snippet create the snippet so this complete process is com fully automated here by AZAL dev tool so that is what the speciality so here you can read that that this extension was originally named AL code outline okay because to make your work with ease so let us explore these as well so 
simply click here install so it will be installed so it is installing now once it is installed it will be available in your object designer that is you can open and use that so you can see that this is installed now now go to object designer and if you click here if you click here a z wizard you can find that it is now appearing so you can, if you want to create a table new table you can create here if you want a new table extension you can page page extension code unit interface whatever you want to create right from the beginning you can create it without writing any code okay so let us see here table okay click here table so what it will show it will directly show you what is the object id you have okay you can create this object id with the object name whatever the name if you want so you can give here the name and if you want this as a primary key then select here and give the name for the primary key that is employee number what is the data type okay so if it is um, uh, what type of data it is so you can specify that text okay so you can specify that this is a text what is the length of that and what is the classification so what is the classification you just want to give it to that so customer content to be classified okay so you will be giving no to be classified so next one is employee name and it is also a text this is uh, 50 um, yes okay so this is um, to be classified so you can select this and employee number we can just make it as a code right so we can make it as a code okay which is a backyard and employee name salary and this is a decimal if you want to specify the length you can length to be classified okay so how many uh, name that is how many attributes you want you can just add it as required and then if you if you are done with the creation of the table you can simply click here finish whereas your table is creating now so this is what your table employee table but I'm, I'm sorry employee table is already there so you have to change this name simple it's very simple employee n okay so other than that complete snippet okay whatever you have to write everything has come here so you can see that it's there okay you don't want to spend more time to create it likewise if you know table extension page whatever whatever objects you have to create in the al extension you can simply make use of this a a z a l dev tool okay so this is not a separate extension which will not appear here this is together in the object designer so simply you have to click here az wizard where it will open up okay so as you know a table extension means you are extending an already existing table which is already created there so if you click table extension it will ask you what table you want to extend it okay so this is your table name and which table you want to extend it so it will show up what are the table you know you have to give the name and then you have to create that's it if you want to add some triggers you know that is up to us because triggers we have to write the logic so we have to go to the program and we have to write the logic over there okay anyhow of course uh, because the uh, page level trigger whatever the thing is known these are the logics so we have to create the trigger and we have to write it other than that the essential fields and essential uh, layouts will be created by az az wizard itself so i hope you find this very very useful apart from this we have various other extension like al variable helper al code outline a object designer which we have already saw a l toolbox and um, we have uh, a powershell okay 